Today we will see a little augmented reality program which is dedicated to represent the Earth uh, from a global point of view. So the program is called Earth Value. We start it. And it was done with Unity and Vuforia. Uh, together with it, you can download a little dodecahedron which represents the Earth, and when you look at it like this, the splash screen is uh, the October months of 2019 in optical data. So you can see different clouds and, uh, and hurricanes. And if you grab the dodecahedron, you can grab the Earth in your hand and you can rotate it. Uh, it also recognizes the... Oop. There's enough light. The South Pole and the North Pole are recognized. So the data was from a satellite program which is indicated at the end of the video. I go back to the north hemisphere and you can look at it that way now you can rotate the earth as you want to look at the part you are interested in and there are other types of data the second one is a uh, one year of uh, uh, concentration of co2 in the atmosphere so here we are over north america here you see brazil in South America, we can go towards Africa, Europe, Asia, and you can see the dynamics of CO2, red is high concentrations, yellow are low concentrations. Uh, then there are oceanic currents, which are from data gathered by the NASA, and if you zoom on it, you can see all sorts of uh, motions, complicated motions and then you have currents which are 2000 meters below the sea level so the currents are the currents are of much lower intensity you can still see that there are some high ones here we are in the pacific or in the equator you have okay that's again that's again surface currents, so you see loops, and there's another representation where you have a color, so I have to press on this courant oceanic, okay, long enough for the program to react, or I double click, and here red are hot temperatures, yellow medium temperatures, blue cold temperatures, so you can still see these complicated structures, you can still grab the earth as if you hold it, you see this very nice structure that remind a little bit of the Jupiter currents in the Pacific Ocean, and if I look at what happens in Atlantic, you can see that the the part which goes along Europe is hotter than the part that goes down around Labrador in North America, so that's Gulf Stream. And then there's a second tab, which I can open by clicking Solid Earth. So the first one is, uh, uh, it's 700 million years of tectonic plates motion. And you see it here, this was a reconstruction done by Roden Blakey. And you have uh, Pangea and then the splitting of North America and Africa. Now we are in current time. And the last one is in 100 million years from now when Mediterranea has closed back and the video loops. So you can try to identify exactly where you are living and how you are moving across the edges uh, over hundreds of millions of years. 
so we'll see how India soon is detaching okay India has detached already but we can look we can wait for the loop and look at how India will detach and hurt what will become Asia giving rise to the uplift of the Himalaya here you can see it arriving and now Himalaya is constructed now it's human time the next representation is uh, four months of global seismicity from NOAA, NOAA representation. So the large, well, that's in 2014. The large points are uh, large magnitude earthquakes and a small one or small magnitude ones. The color represents the depths of the hypocenters. And you can see that. Uh, the surrounding of the Pacific Ocean are very active and at the end of the video you have all the you have all the earthquakes that occurred which are represented sometimes the screen freezes so the video just has to be downloaded in the in the memory but that was just to represent the cumulative of all the earthquakes during these four months. The last tab here are just a, a map of uh, oh, a map of depth, uh, the bathymetry of the oceans on top of a representation of the continents. So I can zoom over it if my camera comes closer. And the last one is a representation of the geoid. So the geoid is a, uh, oh, here. So here I made the geoid rotate around the North Pole and uh, the geoid is an uh, iso potential of gravity. Uh, here the vertical axis was uh, multiplied by uh, several thousand with respect to the horizontal axis which gives this uh, rather distorted representation of uh, the geoid surface to first order it's uh, spherical or like ellipsoidal but then on top of that you can see differences which are due to the fact that continents are lighter than uh, oceanic crust so you can see very well the continents coming here and you see the surroundings of here we are around the Pacific Ocean and if you zoom there is some lightning here so you can even have the feeling that you look at a sunset over the geoid here we are in front of Africa and it's just this toy is just a way to look at these different fields what you can do in a classroom or in a university groups of students here oh, this is jumping all over because the light is not enough in my room okay it's a problem with the lightning and I can do the same thing not starting from this little construct instead I can use Instead of that construct, I can use a flat anchor. So there's another, there's a little rectangular, uh, there's a little, little rectangular token with a seismic tomography picture that you can use in order to manipulate your objects. So I just take it out to show what it looks like. Oops, it's recognized immediately by my camera. I go back to my visible atmosphere. And here you are, you can see the little anchor and the virtual earth is now sitting on that anchor. So you can rotate it, either you rotate around it or you rotate with your hand the anchor and you can manipulate the earth. You can see for example that every day 
there are clouds forming around Amazonia and disappearing in the night uh, and you can watch the same thing happening around the equatorial forests of Africa you can see a lot of motion happening around Europe and this program is uh, free to download and use uh, you can install it on any Google Android interface so when you click on quit you have the credits with an indication of where all the data came from for this representation and uh, enjoy thank you for your attention